I'm new, man. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. This is gonna be bad. Point and shoot, I guess, right? Today I'm with Scott, my man. Scott, where are we at? We're at the Pinnacle Staging Area. Near Lake Arrowhead, right? Yep. Yeah. I kind of expected to see snow. I don't see any. It's like desert, even though we're way high up. Uh, you have a lake that we want to try to find? There's supposed to be a lake somewhere. I don't know exactly where it's at, but we're going to try and find it. And you don't know the name of the lake? Nope. All right. Let's warm these f***ers up and do it. Today I'm riding the WR250F. It's good to be on this thing. Dude, I like this bike. I do like it. I miss the Honda, but I still like this guy. I know this section. So just keep to... I'm with you, man. We'll just get lost. I'm, I like that. Curious, who do you think the first to fall is gonna be? Him or me? My bet is me. movements trying to steer out of the way of some of these rocks Are you okay? Yeah. So you fell first. <laughs> snowboarding, surfing, and motorcycling all in the same day. Probably even more stuff that I haven't thought about. We can do it all. Hello, sir. Look where you want to go. Look where you want to go. We got it good, man. California, huh? Oh, yeah. Living in the city, so far from any of this, but really it's not. It's only about an hour away. How many people do you think live in LA that don't even know that this shit is available to them to utilize? The majority of them. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. I really like riding with Scott. Dude, he's become one of my best friends. He's a good guy. His attitude is always so positive, at least around me, dude. I'm sure he's got a dark side to him, but I have yet to see it. You know, sometimes I'll go out and ride with people and they're just, I don't know, they're just, they just kill it for me. You know, it takes out all the fun of riding. Somebody's bitching and complaining every five seconds. Whoa! Whoa. 
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> Another thing I learned that I've really paid attention to and try to adapt into my riding is stand up, elbows out, and don't hold on so tight. If you follow those rules, man, you can go for a ride. You can ride all day long. Look at that, Yamaha sponsors this trail. You know what that means? You're screwed, son. I got the golden pass. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> you went over the bars? Oh, I missed it. I landed right here. Why are you recording? You you have like some funny moments, man. to the snow. Maybe we'll see snow. I want to see snow. I want to ride in snow. Splinter's Cabin. I wonder if the Mutant Ninja Trolls know about that. That's where we're at, right? Right here, this is the, uh, the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. Sounds scary. Pretty gnarly. I can only imagine what it's like right now. So we're going to be struggling. Maybe. Got a little lost. Had to look at the map. So out here there's no cell service or any of that shit. What do you think would happen if something happened, we broke down or broke our legs or whatever. We're out here alone even. I actually have something attached to my backpack strap. It's called a spot. Basically it tracks me. So my wife has the link to it. At any point she could log onto the computer and see exactly where I'm at. It's also got a couple other features, like say like I get real messed up and I need immediate rescuing. I hit a button, next thing you know, a helicopter will come pick me up, man. It's kind of cool. For you guys that are out riding dirt bikes, out in the desert alone and stuff, I strongly suggest get a spot unit. You going swimming or what, man? How in the hell are we gonna get up this? <laughs> I'm new, man. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. This is gonna be bad. Point and shoot, I guess, right? Almost made it. Yeah. 
made it. Whew. I didn't know why they call it the gatekeeper. <laughs> that, all that was was point and shoot and a little bit I can do it. I hit a rock. God damn it. I really didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm stopping now. <laughs> I need a break. No, give it. <laughs> this is the first time I touched snow in years. Hoping I find a patch on the other side closer. There wasn't. Something about the sound of crushing snow. I don't know what it is. I just love it. I really like the off-road community. Dude, met some friends, dude. That's super cool. Some new people to ride with.
Oh, there we go. <sighs> Bike just lost 25 pounds. So fun. Dude, this is a good day, man. I love it out here. I just love being on the bike, dude. Guys, I'm gonna end this one, man. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you where when I do upload a video, be part of that notification squad. Make sure you check out my other channel if you're into street bikes and all. I have a lot of fun over there. Huge shout out to our new friends, David and Joe, man. Right. You guys are a lot of fun to run into. I'm glad we uh, crossed paths. Hopefully, we do this again, right? Glad. Huge shout out to all the patrons of the channel, dude. I wouldn't want to do this without you. You guys keep me motivated and going forward. Also, let's not forget the channel sponsors. Shop around motorsports, keeping the bikes on the road and off-road. Law offices of Henry Hit Dad, keeping me out of jail. Voss helmets, keeping my brain in the bucket. I'll catch you guys later. Since I started riding dirt bikes, I rediscovered myself, man. I'm healthier, happier. It's, it's cool. I just wish I wouldn't have waited so long to get into it. It's really kind of an amazing thing to just forget about everything and just laugh with your friends. With all the pressures that we go through with fitting in, paying our bills, living life, and just, just trying to make our find our way to be able to just drop everything with a clear mind and just know that you're just out in the middle of the desert just with your buddies and it's that's it yeah. that's so nice it's so gratifying